in the old days so I hear a lot of people complain about oh kids these days but if you don't get me wrong like in the old days it used to be that it took a community to raise a child now it's the parents don't even have time for their child they throw them on a laptop or an xbox or make them go to their room or go play outside like they don't physically sit down with them as much as they should and they limit their time of parental involvement to the summer and after and before school which isn't the way it should be if you get an opportunity to go visit your child and have lunch with your child at school then you need to do that it just shows them that you're involved in their education and that you care you also need to be involved with the teacher and stand up for your child with the teacher not against the teacher these teachers have like 20 kids to deal with and a lot of them are unruly not necessarily because they're bad kids but maybe because the teacher is having a bad day or they're both having a bad day and they got punished for one thing and it just became a snowball effect because there was no parent involvement. Parents need to be involved. Like these kids are our future and they're not just there when they're sick, home from school or on the weekend or after school or getting ready for school. Like they're there. They're your, they are your life responsibility. They need to come before anything else and you need to make time for them. If you don't have time for them and you don't have time to be involved the way you need to be involved, there's plenty of places that you can reach out. Not all these places are against you and a lot of them are for you. If you have another adult in your life and you feel like they can, you know, step in, like if you don't have time to go play ball with your kid, ask a fucking neighbor. Like a lot of people like don't have kids and can't have kids or are single and can't even get a girlfriend to have a kid would love to go play frisbee in your front yard you know even if it's not like somewhere away from you like at least like your use your yard like know your neighbor don't just like call the police on your neighbor text your neighbor if you got a problem like there's so much hideous stuff that goes on around now days that like could be totally avoided if like people like actually communicated with people and like spent time on people not just on things and um, monetary involvement but reach out like these kids are our future make sure that you're involved in your child's life like nothing's gonna happen good for your kids unless you're there and you're involved in it um you know your your child will try harder in school if he knows that you're there you're involved like you're talking to the teachers if you're not talking to the teachers then it's so easy for the kids to pin you versus the teacher and you just automatically take your kid's side like you need to be involved these teachers deal with a lot have like 20 something unruly kids you know every day and like you get sick of going and doing the same thing every day i'm pretty sure that they get sick of going and doing the same thing every day when they have so much defiance that they're coming across and against um if your kid drives you crazy imagine having 20 of your kids friends over every single day and imagine what your teacher your kid's teacher goes through so the more involved you can be the easier it's going to be on your teacher and the better it's going to be on your kid. I don't have a lot of time to talk um, and I am driving so I want to get off here quickly but I had some scenarios come up with my daughter's school and it's actually happened ever since she went to middle school and I'm finally getting them resolved and finally have the right people involved but the point is that this would have never happened and never occurred. She would have just failed sixth grade and um, never gotten any of the help she needed if I did. it wasn't persistent. You have to be persistent in your child's education. You can't just go on, show up one time and say something, especially if your child is a special needs child because people don't understand that. They categorize them, they speculate, and they just brush them off as being a bad kid when, they're, when they don't conform. Like That's their job is to teach these kids how to conform. And We need to go back to where we inspire our children for the assets that they do have. Like If they're artistic, we 